Greetings running shoe enthusiasts, Ed Budd here and today I have a Tempo running shoe shootout for you between the Asics Evo Ride, Nike Zoomfly 3 and the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. Before we get to the shootout, please remember to hit that subscribe button down here. Please give the video a thumbs up like and click the bell for notifications down below. You'll then receive a message as to when new videos are launched. So these three models occupy that kind of tempo, faster pace training category that everybody kind of really needs a shoe for. There's so many different models out at the moment. I wanted to investigate those more affordable ones around about the 100 pounds price range to see which one was the best for most runners. A couple of these have got a rocker style, midsole, outsole combination. They're all within a couple of ounces of each other on foot. Price points are very similar. I'll throw some information up on the screen right now as to the various stats of each of the shoes. Hopefully by the end of this one you'll be able to figure out perhaps which of these three is the best for you if you don't own one of them already. Other than that, it's just a fun kind of thing to do on a Wednesday evening. Certainly in terms of upper fit, I found the Evo Ride to be a little narrower in the toe box area. I didn't really feel the arch too much in this one. It was definitely narrow though up in the toe box area. I wouldn't say it's narrow in terms of depth, it's more the width of the shoe. You're gonna get a different sensation there in the Zoom Fly 3, certainly in the arch, it's a little bit narrower. You can actually see it from this perspective against the Evo Ride. Certainly nowhere near as narrow in the arch. All of these shoes have got certainly a race styled upper, so they are gonna be a little bit more snug on foot. Although I kind of struggled with the Zoom Fly 3 from that aspect, it just felt like there was way too much material going on here. At some points of the shoe, there's about three layers of material. I mean, here you've got this kind of cage that comes across. You can see it better from this side, actually. This kind of like a midfoot cage here. You've then got this neoprene type material. There's a mesh actually where the cage is and then you've got vapor weave on top of that. I found the upper on the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel to be the least present out of all three shoes. The one on the Evo ride is actually quite considerable in comparison to the slightly lighter shoes of Nike and New Balance. I found the fit on the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel that little bit more snug than the other two shoes. So I would perhaps consider going up half a size if you go for the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. I went true to size and it was just a little too snug for my liking. The fly knit on the upper on this one's really, really pleasant. It's very light, though it still feels strong, but has flexibility. I mean, you're gonna get durability and strength from the upper on the Asics. So it's much, much more present though. I think perhaps in summer months, you probably air towards a more breathable shoe, such as the Fuel Cell Rebel, perhaps rather than this one. Proof's in the pudding though, we'll see how this one turns out when things start warming up a little. The Zoom Fly 3 upper, well, it has a weird mix of materials. I found it vented water relatively well, perhaps even the best of these three shoes actually, in terms of how well it gets rid of moisture. I enjoyed the lacing aspect of the upper best on the Evo ride. It's just a nice simple kind of configuration. You can't really go wrong. Laces on the Rebel were far too springy for my liking. Once I switched them out, the shoe fit improved a huge amount actually. With the Zoom Fly 3, it kind of felt a little bit like the lacing loops here down the sides of the midfoot. Just kind of bunch the neoprene material that kind of makes up this kind of booty construction together. A little bit too much room in the toe box for me on the Zoom Fly 3 when going true to size. And I think the weird fit just was amplified by that very rigid kind of midsole. Talking of midsole, I kind of find the Zoom Fly 3 kind of sandwiches in the middle of these three shoes. Rigidity of it kind of falls between the Evo Ride and the Rebel. The Evo Ride's very rigid actually, even more so than the Zoom Fly 3. Yes, I know I haven't ploughed as many miles into this one as I have the Zoom Fly 3. But I look back at my initial video of the Zoomfly 3 and certainly this one's way more rigid. I think this one's far closer to the Zoomfly original in terms of the rigidity in the midsole. The Fuel Cell Rebel is by far and away the softest of the whole lot in terms of midsole feel. And I feel the most flexible one kind of foot strike. There's just a lot more flexibility there in the midsole with this Fuel Cell material. I felt that the Evo Ride was far more controlled and fluid in terms of the gait cycle at speed in comparison to the Zoom Fly 3. This one's always felt a little bit forced and a little bit clunky to me. I think perhaps that's the carbon plate plus the very dense React midsole foam here 
combined with that upper as well. It just felt like a odd shoe. I really didn't get on with it. The Rebel certainly has the softest midsole material here. The Evo and the Zoomfly 3 just feel a lot firmer. Certainly the Evo ride just seems really reliant on its insole to provide some cushioning. Other than that, underneath it's really firm. I found though that the Rebel was by far and away the fastest of the three shoes for me. That aside, they're really all fast shoes. You can certainly achieve some higher paces, those tempo or above paces if you want to. I found that this shoe handled warm-up paces before perhaps tempo runs or interval efforts a lot better than the other two. The Evo Ride especially really doesn't want to go slowly, it wants you to go faster. Which isn't always what you need, sometimes you need to warm up before these type of efforts. I wouldn't say there's a lot in it though between these three shoes, they're not really daily type trainers, I don't think you could really get away with using them on a daily basis without probably overdoing it for pace. Remember, run slow to race fast. Moving on to outsole. The Evo Ride certainly got the most pronounced rubber outsole of any of the shoes. There's a really decent amount of rubber on this one. Um, whether it's really needed or not, I don't know. Not for a pace shoe anyway. That aside though, regardless of the patterned kind of outsole here, I have found it a little bit slippery on certain surfaces. God, I should try saying that, it's really difficult. It's a bit slidey on wet smooth surfaces like metal gratings or kind of drain covers and things like that, so do be careful kids. The Rebel has that same issue as well. I've gone flying a couple of times. The rubber traction lumps on the outsole of the Rebel just really don't cut the mustard when it comes to anything marble or metal. Certainly when it's wet. The Zoomfly 3 is perhaps a little better for that. It's certainly a different type of rubber material here on the Zoomfly 3 though in comparison to the next percent. I've said it before and I'll say it again, these two shoes are very, very different. Almost got the urge to get a file or something and sort of file down the outsole a little bit, make it a little bit more gnarly and grippy. I think the rubber areas on all three of these shoes leave a little bit to be desired. Certainly when you compare them to something like the Takumi Sen 6 from Adidas, with its awesome outsole. That just trounces all of them for grip. This shoe is stupendously good for grip. I mean, look at that. It's like bear's teeth. So all three of these shoes really are capable of those faster paced training efforts or even racing if you wanted to use them for that type of use case. I think though, if you get the sizing right, the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel is the one to go for. That upper is certainly very flexible, perhaps too flexible for some, but I found from switching the laces out, I could get a much better lockdown over the top of the forefoot. I think in some ways it's similar to the feel of the 4% Flyknit. It's certainly very light on foot and that foam in the midsole really is great in terms of cushion without being overly pillow-like. I certainly found it very snappy in terms of turnover and I think durability is pretty on point really. Only major issue I had with it really was from slipperiness of the outsole. I think at about 70 or 80 pounds at present this probably makes for the best value if you want a shoe specifically for tempo work. Though, that aside, I'm not sure I'd want to go much beyond about 10 miles in this one. I just don't think it has the structure in terms of the upper to provide enough security there for the runner. So if you've worn any of these three shoes, please do comment below with your experiences. I'd be most appreciative. Hope you've enjoyed this shootout. Slightly different to usual. There's not a huge amount in it between these shoes. All similar price points really. All available, some on very good deals right now. So living in slightly troubled times at the moment, I've been listening to as much energetic and up for it rock and roll music as I possibly can. So recently I dug out this album, Cosmos Factory from Credence Clearwater Revival. John Fogerty was certainly on form when they made this album. Some fantastic tracks. Traveling Band, there's a cover of Roy Orbison's great rock and roll track, Ooby Dooby, and Up and Around the Bend, all really killer tracks. What I love about Creedence Clearwater Revival is just the such simple kind of delivery of the tunes. There's none of all these ridiculous weird effects and stuff, it's just straight down to it. Four guys playing some great rock and roll music. Certainly cheered me up this week. Do check it out, Cosmos Factory from Credence Clearwater Revival. Thanks for watching through to the end of the video. Please remember to hit the subscribe button down here, give the video a thumbs up like, hit the bell for notifications just down below, and share it with your friends. My name's Ed Bud, and I'll be seeing you.